let's do some strumming of some chords. These are going to be real simple, but they sound nice. I'm going to play D, A, and G. You might know D. It's a little triangle-shaped chord, index, middle, ring. The notes of it are, uh, well, you're going to press down on the A on the second fret of the third string with your index finger. Middle finger, first string, second fret. That's an F sharp. Ring finger, second string, third fret. That's a D. All right, and you're going to try to hit only four strings. If you hit six, it sounds kind of weird. That sounds like a static or thunder or something scary to me. I don't want those two fat strings. Maybe the A, because A is in a D chord. But for now, try to hit four strings. All right, this little strum is going to go. Then A, G, and A, D. A, G, A. That's it. D, A, G, A. I want to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right. So let's just make sure you got your A down. I like to use middle ring pinky on the second fret. On the fourth third and second strings. On the A chord, I'm trying to hit five strings. If you do hit the big string, that's part of the formula, so it won't destroy your chord, but it's a little bit muddy. So if you can hit five, that'll be great. And then uh, the G, I go uh, index, middle, ring, pinky. Index is on the second fret fifth string middles on third fret sixth string ring and pinky side by side on the third fret of the second and third strings that's uh what we used to call the clapton g because it's on the cover of the slow hand album there's a photograph of eric holding it like that all right so we're going to go down down up up down up on each chord d a g a one Two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Spacing out. I just thought of something. There is a, a special magic trick here. Uh, it's, I call it the garbage can chord. It's where, check this out. I'm gonna go. That's the garbage can chord. When you pick up your fingers, but keep the strum pattern going. Uh, so I'm making it more um, obvious. Uh, I'm gonna accentuate the garbage can chord so you, you catch it. does it allows you a little bit more time with your fretting hand to get to the next chord so it's a little spacer so those are really common something like um, I'll, I'll put in a, a big garbage can chord uh, demonstration right now hear all that stuff that's just space if we took those out, it'd be kind of boring. You need the, but so they can they can add a little bit of sound. That was more of a muffled garbage can chord, but if it's open, that'd be pretty crazy. Usually, you just put in one when you're going to change a chord. I'll just reverse it.
So, uh, yeah, man. Mainly, I just wanted to show you those three chords if you want something to strum. D, A, G, A. And you could jam on that like crazy with... You could improvise on top of those chords if you're going to record a little uh, loop or something. That might be fun to do. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll work on this chord progression if I remember. But uh, we got things to do today, so I'm going to get moving. And I don't know where this pick came from, but it is worn down. I probably stole it from the band we opened for last night. <laughs> oh, boy. And we play in Ames tonight. 